So one of the reasons I, I don't like Facebook market in particular is because it's not because of um, it's people have got their own reasons for doing things and I get that there are scammers on there that people want to you know come along and say oh you know can you send me through the post can I send by a bank transfer can I send the money by a PayPal and then they do everything you know to get the money back and then you end up out of pocket you've given them your stuff which is fair enough uh, you know the thing is right I've got a mental health problem so it's, it's more difficult for me to go to somebody's house you know, with the cash, because I'm going to go to the bank, and when you're agoraphobic, you've got a fear of open spaces, of either, you know, something going wrong, and you can't escape somewhere safe, which I have, and I've been like that for quite some time now. So I go on Facebook this morning, and I see this uh, HP laptop, 17-inch screen, unknown password. It says... Um, It's the model P17-P100NA. Bought second hand, don't know password, don't know specs, etc. In Cooser and you'll charge you. Takes a few minutes to start up the password screen. Sold as seen, no time wasters. Cash on collection, only from Oldham, no offers. Anyway, I decided to, um, well, try my luck. Um, so I sent him a message on Messenger, which I'm going to show you now. open that up in full screens so you can see it so I say I'm interested in this item he says okay and I say will you consider having it collected by courier I could send the cash in the post if you're okay with that so he says, sorry, it's collection in person only. So I say, you think I'm a scammer? Fair enough, I'll take my money elsewhere. Here is my fake passport, I guess. I sent him a picture of my passport, which is legitimate. He says, sorry, I stated in the listing, in the listing collection only, which is fair enough. And I say, you're judging me. If you think I'm a scammer, just say. And I say, I can see how to get past the password. I do have the knowledge. And now he's ignoring me, which is fair enough. And I put you struggle to sell it. The, the, the thing is, though, right, I mean, I've not mentioned anything about my mental health or anything like that, but, and I do understand, you know, that people may have um, had, well, it's well known that, you know, Facebook marketplaces are uh, a, a place where a lot of scammers hang out and everything and support everybody else, to be fair. And, you know, it's up to the seller if he wants to um, sell it for cash. He wants cash in collection, which is fair enough. I mean, you know, that's I've got no problem with that. It's just, for me, you know, with the problems I've got, I, you know, it's prejudice. It, it, it's discrimination, sorry. You know, I feel like I'm being discriminated against. I mean, it's, I won't be able to get to, um, it's in Oldham in Manchester, I mean, it's miles away. I just wish more people would be, a bit more lenient and think rather than just assuming that you are a scammer when you're not and that's all I've got to say I mean I dare say that you know some people are going to say oh you know this that the other and it's up to the seller blah de, blah which is fair enough I mean you know I've got no problem with that it's just sometimes you know there are legitimate people out there wanting to buy this stuff and they're just you know being pushed aside and that's all I've got to say on this matter